So it's a brand new day. The uh, a democratic uh, uh, machine, as it used to be known, patronage machine, right. is crumbling, it's gone. It's on milk crates, the wheels are off, and the engine has been stolen. It's just sitting there. Uh, you've got more and more people who are declaring themselves independents, which are greater in number than Democrats and Republicans. Right, right. Uh, so people are not wanting to go in there and say, you know, there's nothing precinct captain can do for him. There's really very little that aldermen can do for him. And aldermen should get their liquor license and zoning rights taken away from them. To give one person, no matter who they are, the right to be the king of zoning and liquor licenses in their ward is... is inviting criminal activity. Right. That's why they get indicted and sent to jail because they think that the, you know, they're the second coming once right. they get elected right. aldermen. Right. Right. So we need to change, the, and why do we need 50 aldermen? There's a referendum petition pending Absolutely. being circulated now by police and fire to cut the size of city council from 50 to 25. They need 130,000 uh, signatures on petitions, and I understand that they have more than that already. And, and that's going to be on a November, November ballot? November of 2010. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, really? So we don't need 50 aldermen. You know, we have 17 commissioners governing the county of 5.2 million people. Why do you need 50 aldermen for a city of 2.7 million people? It makes no sense. Right. And then and the expenses, in just to pay for the aldermen, it's expensive, their office, yeah, their staff, staff. All their relatives right. on the payroll. Right. Yeah. right. I mean, this is the kind of thing that goes on ad infinitum. We have now a case that went all the way to the Illinois Supreme Court that Steve Bolton is handling along with uh, Christine Svensson and uh, Tim Sprague, who is an attorney in our office, where they took seven aldermen all the way up to the Supreme Court. They were using their $75,000 now, at that time it was $45,000 aldermanic uh, allowance to run their neighborhood service offices to pay for their Democratic committeemen political expenses. They were right. using our money right. to run their political operations with, and we're going to make them pay that back, some $400,000. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Each alderman? Each of alderman, the they're going to pay it back. Oh. His approval rating is just slightly above Todd Stroger's, and uh, he's going into a re-election in 2011, and I can tell you, you're going to have a, a, a whole slew of people running against yeah, him. Yeah, but the trouble, the names that come up, people running, are even more incompetent than him. Uh, that's pretty hard to do. Yeah. I, I understand that, but... What we need is a Republican Party or the business community, Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce, to come together behind a candidate right. and put three right. to five million, three to five million dollars yes. into their campaign and and take this back, take this city government back for the taxpayers. But will the, the business the community is our business community left in Chicago? Well, there is, there is, but they're all in the mayor's pocket because they right. find it more advantageous to uh, you know do business with him.